everything is that way. Just so you know, this is an Indian reservation where everybody thinks that the people are rich. Um, let me go back a little farther so you can see. Um, it's actually kind of sad. That's a nice house there. There's some old buildings back there. Um, there's their church. And let me stop for a moment. This is the casino. Uh, not a lot of cars here. And uh, like I said, half of the funds do go to the state of Washington. Just so you people do know, I'm, I'm kind of getting sick and tired of hearing how rich Indians are. So we, we kind of made a shortcut here. Well, not a really a shortcut. So the rich Indian trailers there. Yeah, I know. I saw the, the rich Indian dilapidated. I didn't get it in time. It's terrible. Um, if I could get over there, they're squashed in houses side by side. With the, this is what they live in. It's not even funny, and I, I find it offensive that people even say these things. Okay, um, I know Native Americans don't like their stuff aired. Um, this is an Indian reservation, people. This is an Indian reservation. This is those rich homes y'all all talk about. How rich these people are. And let me tell you, um, <clears throat> they have to pay double the electricity you people pay here in Washington State. So, <clears throat> next time I hear somebody call an Indian rich, I would, I would just like you to take a look at this video here. They are so wealthy. Look, man, I mean, they've got mobile homes. These are some very rich Indians. So, I, I'm just, I'm a little appalled by some of the things I hear about the Native Americans being rich. And like I said, half of their proceeds, look, this is somebody probably trying to, to make a living but he will have to. There's a house there that's just completely fell down. Uh, in order for... Oh, that's scary. It looks like a chicken farm. Yeah. In order for this Native American, since he lives on the reservation, he'll have to have permits to go out and work in the United States of America because he's on a sovereign nation. He has no, absolutely no rights here. Look at the fence. I don't know if you can see the fence. Um, the fence there had electrical things to keep the Indians out, like they're gonna hurt that piece of land. There's some more, there's some more. This is what you good people call rich, and I'm kinda tired of it. So, we just thought we would stop this way on our way home, so you could see <coughs> the mighty majestic wealth of Native Americans. Now mind you, they do live in a beautiful, the mount <clears throat> ahead is beautiful. But this right here, that's not. And, and you can call this whatever you want. But you know, I'm so sick of it. Are we going another way? Yeah, we're going the back way. Okay. Um, I'm still trying to find this bee. I think it was across that way. Now, we're getting out of the reservation now. Wow, how things look nicer. Uh, we're still, we're still. Well, this is for the casino part. I forgot the rich house is over here. 
There's just some beautiful rich houses over here. Oh, there's the tribal center and the tribal police probably wondered, what am I doing? Uh, end of the trail, it said. Okay, and we are at the end of the trail. So, there. There's your rich Native Americans, everyone. Um, so next time you look in the mirror, open your mouth to say things like that. You better learn some history. And, and I'm not mad at everybody for, t for saying what they say. I'm just a little upset. I know I should have looked. I'm upset that people keep saying Native Americans are making money off of casinos. Well, they're not.